welcome to the Northwest Training Development Team and Pathways Daily Coronavirus Update. Today's update answers some of the questions that we've been sent by self advocates in the Northwest. Mark is asking the first question that people with a learning disability or autism or both have asked us What is a key worker? We can see why this might be a little bit confusing because for a lot of people who receive support, key worker usually means someone who works very closely with them to make sure they get the right support either in a service or where they live. But when we hear the word key worker on the news or television about the coronavirus outbreak, it means something different. Key workers in the coronavirus outbreak are the people who we really need to go to work. They're the people who do important work that we all need to keep going. These include people like emergency service workers, health workers, social care workers, people who work in supermarkets and people who work in transport. The government has made a list of the jobs that we really need to carry on to make sure people have all the things that they need to stay safe. Here's Mark again with the next question. What does PPE mean? PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. It's the equipment that people who are working to support everyone need to keep themselves and everyone safe. It stops the spread of the virus. PPE, personal protective equipment, includes things like face masks, gloves and aprons. If staff who support you are wearing masks or gloves or aprons, it's okay, they're doing the same job that they always did to support you, They're just taking extra steps to help keep you and them safe. Here's Linda with the next question we've been asked. What is ICU? ICU stands for Intensive Care Unit. We've been hearing a lot about these on the news. Intensive Care Units are special wards for the most seriously ill patients in the hospital. These wards have more staff for each patient and they have special equipment to check up on the patients and support them. Here are Linda and then Anthony with a question that lots of people have been asking. Um, How long will this virus go on for? Um, When this is all over, when, because I got a 30th party coming up, Lynn James Jenkinson, the director of Northwest Training Development Team and Pathways, answers this question for us. Thanks, Anthony and Linda. Those are two questions that we're all asking ourselves at the moment. On the 23rd of March, we were all told to stay home so that we can all stay safe. We were told to stay home for three weeks. Some people, those people that are more at risk, we're told that they would need to stay home for 12 weeks. So that's probably until the end of June. The truth is that we really don't know. And we may be told to stay home for longer than that. It's important to stay in touch with our friends and families because it's not nice not being able to see each other, especially when there are things like birthdays that we're missing. It's also important to remember the party that we will have together when this is over, and it will be over one day, and then we can celebrate all the birthdays that we've missed and all the opportunities to celebrate other things. 